ready to worship the Lord this morning? Praise Him in the sanctuary. Praise Him in the mighty heavens. Praise Him. All the earth praise Him. Praise Him in His awesome power. Praise His great and holy name. Praise Him. The whole earth praise Him. From the rising of the sun, let His praise be heard. From the east to the west, and more to south let everything that has breath praise the lord forever let everything in my soul praise the lord let everything that has breath praise the lord forever let everything in my soul praise the lord Sanctuary, praise him in the mighty heavens, praise him, all the earth praise him, praise him in his awesome power, praise his great and holy name, praise him, the whole earth praise him from the rising of the sun. Let its praise be heard from the east to the west and the north to south. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord forever. Let everything in my soul praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord forever. Let everything in my soul praise the Lord from the rising, from the rising of the sun. Let its praise be heard from the east to the west and the north to south. From the rising of the sun, let its praise be heard from the and the Lord to south. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord forever. Let everything in my soul praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord forever. Let everything in my soul celebrating with a triumphant concert of praise. If the crowds in Jerusalem who only partly understood Jesus praised him, then how much more we should be praising him and offering him praise. Amen? Amen. You may be seated, everybody. Welcome. We're glad that you're here today. We're going to uh, be praying for our service, opening things up. Uh, uh, with prayer here in just a moment. We just want to remind you that our prayer focus uh, this week are missionaries to Washburn University, good friends uh, of myself and Christina Marshall and Stacy Morris. Uh, they are Chi Alpha ministers, meaning they minister to the students uh, at uh, Washburn University. So we're going to be praying for them as well this week and this morning. So would you join me in prayer? Heavenly Father, God, we thank you that uh, uh, your presence is here. We thank you that you are worthy of praise. We thank you that our hearts, God, in spirit and in truth, can connect with your heart this day. Father, I ask that uh, you would bless uh, my friends, um, Pastor Marshall and Stacy, Lord, as they minister in their church today. But, Lord, 
to the college students at Washburn University. God, let them be used by you to, to make strong disciples who will make a difference in that community. And Lord, we ask that today would be a day of discipleship, that we would understand you more, that we would connect with you spirit to spirit, Lord, through praise, through your word. Lord, let us, be when we leave this place, say, I've grown closer to Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Would you stand up with me for a moment? And why don't you go to her and greet someone, walk out of your pew, welcome somebody to church today. Let them know that you're glad they're here. Join with us as we praise the King, the Messiah, our Savior. Who breaks the power of sin and darkness? Whose love is mighty, so much stronger, the King of glory? Who shakes the whole earth with holy thunder and leaves us breathless in awe and wonder? The King of glory, the King above all kings. This is amazing grace. This is unfailing love that you would take my place. That you would bear my cross. No, you laid down your life. That I would be set free. Oh, Jesus, I sing for all that you've done for me. i 
all of its brilliance, the King of glory, the King above all kings. This is amazing grace. This is unfailing love. Lord, that you would take my place, that you would bear my cross. You laid down your life, that I would be set free. Oh, Jesus, I sing for all that you've done for me. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Worthy is the King who conquered the grave. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Worthy is the King who conquered the grave. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Worthy is the King who conquered the grave. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Worthy, worthy, worthy. Oh, this is amazing grace. This is unfailing love, that you would take my place, Lord, that you would bear my cross, Lord, you lay down your life, that I would be set free, oh, Jesus, I sing for all that you've done for me, oh, this is amazing That you would take my place, that you would bear my cross. Oh, you lay down your life, that I would be set free. Oh, Jesus, I sing for all that you've done for me. Hallelujah, Lord. Oh, me. Your grace is enough, 
your grace is enough for me. So remember, oh, remember your people, remember your children, remember your promise, oh God. So remember, so remember your people, remember your children. Luke chapter 19, beginning with verse 35, it says, They brought it, meaning the donkey's colt, they brought it to Jesus. They threw their cloaks on the colt, and they put Jesus on it. And as he went along, people spread their cloaks on the road. When he came near the place where the road goes down, the Mount of Olives, the whole crowd of disciples began joyfully to praise God in loud voices for all the miracles they had seen. Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. I tell you, he replied, if they keep quiet, the stones will cry out. Listen, no stone is going to take my place today. I'm going to worship the King. Oh, worship the King. Oh, glorious above, and gratefully sing His power and His love, our shield and defender, the Ancient of Days, pavilioned in splendor, and girded with praise, who tell us
today. Give him glory for what he's done. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. You may be seated, baby. Good morning, church. And happy Palm Sunday to you. It is a joy to be in the house of the Lord as always. I was just thinking this morning before, um, before I get started, you know, I have been to 11 different countries. And one thing that I have discovered is that my family is huge and it is big and it encompasses believers all around the world. It doesn't matter where I go. I have family that I can, I can always call on. And I just whether I know them or don't. And so I just find that to be an amazing thing with God's family. And so with that this morning, I do have the privilege of welcoming any new people that might be visiting with us this morning as our ushers come forward. If you are brave enough to raise your hand and let us know that it's your first time with us today, um, our ushers have a welcome packet for you. And within there is just some information about who we are. There's a card in there. If you want to put your information on the back, we just want to send a uh, thank you for joining us and visiting and uh, being a part of our family today. Um, so, as the ushers do their thing. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. That's very brave. Very brave. And Polo wasn't going to let you out of it anyway. So, I just want to say that. I just have a few announcements this morning. Again, um, it is Holy Week. Uh, just an amazing time of the year. Of, of the year. It is... Um, one of my favorite times, I must say, but it's Holy Week, and uh, we have a service coming on Good Friday. We're going to have a candlelight service on Good Friday. Hope Church, our daughter church, is going to join us, so come on out to that. It's going to be an amazing time as we celebrate the death of, of our Savior, Jesus, and then Sunday morning, we're going to have our resurrection service. Um, you know, we don't want to stay on, on Good Friday, but we want to move into the resurrection Sunday and that abundant life that 
was promised to us. So I want to encourage you to come out to those two services next, uh, sorry, next weekend. Um, also, just a reminder that we have two women's retreats that are coming up. And so this one is, what is the date? I can't remember. Uh, April 27th. This is the Influence Conference in uh, Lemonster at New Life Church. Um, so ladies, great opportunity. It's from 9.30 to 1.30 in the afternoon, so just a Saturday morning. And then this one, Women of Judah, this is down in Providence, Rhode Island. This is a Friday into a Saturday, and so just another great opportunity um, for us to gather together as women, as sisters in Christ, and, and just see what the Lord may have for us. Uh, if you need further information on those, you can email me at the office or... Um, there is registration and information in the River Report. Um, with that, we're going to call the ushers forward as we collect the Lord's tithes and our offerings this morning. As we continue to worship this morning, um, offering and tithing is, is it's just one more way that we're able to worship God. You know, everything that we have is a gift from God. And so I consider it a privilege to be able to give back to him um, a little bit. Will you bow your heads with me? Father, we thank you um, just for everything that you have done, God, as we move into this holy week and we are celebrating the triumphant entry of Jesus. God, we are reminded that all that we have and all that we are is because of you. And so we come before you in a heart of worship this morning, giving back. Lord, we ask that you would just bless this offering this morning that we, you would use it to further your kingdom. God bless, bless each and every family and person that is represented here this morning. We love you. We give you thanks and glory. Amen. For years I spent in vanity and pride, caring not my Lord was crucified. Knowing not it was for me, he died at Calvary. But mercy there was great and grace was free. Pardon there was multiplied to me. There my burden stood on liberty at Calvary. Oh, by God's word at last my sin I learned. Trembled at the law I'd spurn till my guilty soul and boring turn to Calvary. Oh, his mercy there was great and grace was free. His pardon there was multiplied to me. There my burden so found liberty. Oh, the grace that brought it down to man. Oh, the mighty gulf that God did span at Calvary. Oh, his mercy there was great, grace was free. Pardon there, multiply to me. Oh, there my burden so bonded. mercy there was great and grace was free oh pardon there was multiplied to me and there my burden so found liberty at Calvary To pray and dismiss. Told everybody I'd. Where? Kids! Where are the children? Come on, stand up. I want to see you. There went one, two, three, and there's one hiding over here. Five. I can see them. Look at these little beautiful faces. This is the next generation, folks. These are the. These are the men and women 
of the future that are going to win this world for Jesus Christ. Will you bow your heads as we pray for the kids? Father, we thank you for our beautiful children, the gift that they are to us. Lord, we ask that you would be with them this morning as they go into their class. God, would you open their hearts and their minds to hear from you today. Be with their teachers. Help them to remember what they have uh, learned to teach the kids this morning, God. And we just pray that your Holy Spirit would just bathe our kids in love this morning. Thank you. We give you all the glory. Amen. Kids, you are dismissed. We'll see you later, kids. Have a great time in Children's Church and we worship. We love you guys. It's the fourth Sunday of the month, fourth Sunday of the month. Uh, we have set aside for our Raise the Roof offering. Uh, as uh, many of you know, we've got uh, several uh, uh, maintenance, not really maintenance, but building issues uh, that need to be taken care of, including the roof of this beautiful sanctuary that we have. Uh, we need to get uh, basically a new roof. We need uh, uh, several other things in the building. Uh, and so since our budget is tight to start with, we are taking this offering to try to raise this year $20,000 uh, in order to take care of those uh, um, needs that we have as a church. Uh, and you guys have been doing great, and I appreciate it. Continue the generosity that you have because we are going to make this goal. Uh, I believe it with my heart as, as you guys continue to listen to the Lord and, and give. Uh, we need, uh, uh, just, just to let you know, that we are on a pretty good track to make our goal. We need, uh, 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 you know, a certain amount every month to continue on, and, and you guys are just doing great. I'm not going to go on and on about it, because you guys, you hear from the Lord, and you're, you're, you're good givers. So let's pray for the offering. Lord, thank you for uh, the generosity of your people. Thank you, Lord, for this building that we have, Lord, that we've had for so many years, God, and we've been able to come and meet in this beautiful building. And Lord, uh, this building, God, she's, uh, she's showing a, f a little bit of her age, and she needs some, some help. And, uh, and God, we just ask that uh, uh, you would take the money that we're about to receive and use it, multiply it, so that uh, uh, it can, all the things that need to be done will get done this year, and we'll be able to uh, continue meeting in such a wonderful place. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I am surrounded by peace I'm realizing you're all that I need I come to you, you holy God Placing my shame at the foot of your cross and I don't want to be the same Lord, I'm crying out your name I surrender I surrender I'm realizing you're all that I need. I come to you, holy God.
placing my shame at the foot of your cross. Lord, I don't want to be the same. So, Lord, I'm crying out your name. I surrender. I surrender. entered the gates of Jerusalem, the crowd grew thick around him. And this is how the book of Mark chapter 11 describes a scene, beginning with verse 8. Many people spread their cloaks on the road, while others spread branches that they had cut in the fields. Those who went ahead and those who followed shouted, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the coming of the kingdom of our father David. Hosanna in the highest heaven. To God be the glory. Great things he had done. So loved he the world that he gave us his son. Who yielded his life and atonement for sin. And open the life gate that all may go in. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let the people rejoice. Who oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son and give him the glory great things he had done oh perfect redemption the purchase of blood to every believer the promise of god the vilest offender who truly believes that moment from Jesus a pardon receives. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son and give him the glory great things he had done great things he had taught us great things he had done and great our rejoicing through jesus the son but lower and higher and greater will be our wonder, our transport, when Jesus we see. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father, through Jesus the Son, and give him the glory great things he hath done praise the lord praise the lord let the earth hear his voice praise the lord praise the lord let the people rejoice oh come to the father through jesus the son 
and give him the glory, great things he had done. Think of the things he's done for you. The disciples praised the Lord on that day for the miracles that they had seen. Have you seen Jesus do the miraculous in your life? And we're going to praise his day in this morning because he is worthy of our praise. Hallelujah. Praises to your name. Holy, holy, let every tongue proclaim. Hosanna, joyfully we raise and live to you our sacrifice of praise. Hallelujah, praises to your name, Lord, you are holy, holy, let every tongue proclaim, Hosanna, joyfully we raise and live to you our sacrifice. Sacrifice of praise. Hallelujah. Lord, all praises to your name. Holy, holy. Lord, let every tongue proclaim. Hosanna. Joyfully. Oh, sing again, Lord. Hallelujah. Praises to your name. Oh, you are holy, holy. Let every tongue proclaim. Hosanna. Joyfully we raise and live. Sacrifice of praise. Lord, we lift to you our sacrifice of oh Lord, we do. We lift to you our sacrifice of praise. Lift up our sacrifice. To you, O oh Lord, we pray. The splendor of the King, clothed in majesty, let all the earth rejoice. Let all the earth rejoice. He wraps himself in light. Darkness tries to hide and trembles at his voice and trembles at his voice. How great is our God, oh, sing with me how great our God, and all will see how great, how great is our God. From age to age he stands. Time is in his hands, beginning at the end, beginning at the end. The God 
The Bible says that after people praised him on the streets of Jerusalem, that Jesus entered the temple. While he was there, Jesus healed the sick. Jesus touched the lives of the broken. So we're going to continue our praise, and you may be seated if you're standing, but we're going to continue to praise as our altars are open for prayer, for those that might be sick and broken among us. I'm going to ask our prayer team to come on down. Prayer team, you'll recognize them. They're wearing the red lanyards of the prayer team. And encourage you to come down and be waiting. And if you are here today and you need a touch from God in your life, you need a touch from God maybe in your body, you're feeling sick, you're feeling under the weather, maybe you've got a friend, a loved one, a family member who's sick and you'd like to come and stand in their place. Bible says to anoint with oil those who are sick and the prayer of those who are faithful will make the sick all better. Healing can come through Jesus' name. Salvation, restoration, the miraculous can take place. If you're looking for that miracle, if you just want to come and spend time at the altar, you're welcome to come as we continue to praise. We'll be singing some songs but encourage you to come and praise and through your prayer today. Welcome in 
to this place welcome into this broken vessel you desire to abide in the praises of your people so we lift our hands and we lift our hearts and we offer up our praise unto your name. You're welcome to this place. Lord, you're desire to abide in the praises of your people and we live and we offer praise unto your Lord your welcome to this place Oh, welcome into this broken vessel. Desire to abide in the praises of your people. So we lift our hands and we lift our hearts and we offer up our praise unto the day. Lord, you desire to abide in the praises of your people. So we lift our hands and we lift our hearts and we offer a praise unto your
Jesus, Jesus, Lord. Father, you've seen these lives, these hearts here at the altar. They are given to you. Lord, bodies that are sick, they are given to you. Everything that we are, Lord, we surrender to you. We ask, God, I ask that you would work the miraculous in lives. That, Lord, we would hear reports of healing. That we would hear reports of, of God, financial miracles relationship miracles, Lord. That we would hear that someone that's looking for a job, Lord, they found that job because you have intervened. Lord, it is a gift of your grace. It is a gift of your love. And so today, Lord, as we have presented these needs to you, Lord, we once again fall upon your grace. And ask that you receive us, receive these needs in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, amen. But even on that triumphant day in Jerusalem, when bodies were healed and praises were shouted, Jesus was focused on what was to come. 
that is on the road to Jerusalem. His time in the city had just begun. He knew that this week in Jerusalem that began with praise would end with his suffering, would end with his death on the cross. And yet as Jesus looked at the city, he didn't weep for himself. The Bible says that he wept for the people of Jerusalem, the people that had just praised his name, the people who he had healed there in the temple court. He prayed for the people of Jerusalem as he prayed this prayer in Luke 19, beginning with verse 42. Jesus prayed, if you, even you, had only known on this day what would bring peace, but now is hidden from your eyes. The days will come upon you when your enemies will build an embankment against you and encircle you and hem you in on every side. They will dash you to the ground you and the children within your walls. They will not leave one stone on another because you did not recognize the time of God's coming to you. One musical put the prayer like this. If you knew all that I knew Poor Jerusalem, you'd see the truth, but you close your eyes, but you close your eyes. While you live, your troubles are many, poor Jerusalem. Conquer death, you only have to die. You only have to die. God is with us here today. Recognize Him. Do not close your eyes. The people of Jerusalem did not recognize the time of God that God himself was there coming to them. So today we recognize that he is here. Today we recognize what he did for us. And today we proclaim with our praise, I'm forgiven because you were forsaken. I'm accepted work and death. I'm alive and well. The Spirit is within me because you died and rose I'm excited. 
pardon for all my sin and a peace that Tell the world how faithful you are. To him who sits on the throne and unto the Lamb. To him who sits on the throne.
flashes of lightning, rolls of thunder, blessing and honor, strength and glory and power be. Before I forget this morning, I want to give special thanks to uh, our worship team who worked extra hard today, and uh, I appreciate their ministry, appreciate their uh, being willing to, to serve. We've had a concert of praise, but we are not the audience. It's a concert. We are those, we are the symphony, and our God is the audience. He's the one who receives our praise, because he's the one who's worthy of our praise. This road to Jerusalem on that last week, it began with great praise. It began with shouts of Hosanna. Son of David, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. They thought that Jesus had come to establish a new kingdom. And he did. But they just had the wrong idea. They thought he was going to establish a kingdom in Jerusalem. But what Jesus was kind of come to do was to establish a kingdom in their hearts. And when he hung on the cross, I'm sure that a lot of those people who had prayed 
lot of those people who had waved their palm branches. What happened? It was less than a week ago. And we were proclaiming that he was our new king. And now he hangs dying on a cross, crucified by the Romans to rule over us. They didn't understand that the cross was the reason he had come to this earth. The cross was the reason he had been born in Bethlehem. The cross was the beginning, uh, was the reason that he had from the beginning planned to save mankind and set up a kingdom in our place. If you're here today and you've never given your life to Christ, I encourage you, this is the kingdom that your heart has been seeking. Without even knowing, your heart has been seeking all along. If you will give your life to Christ, he will make you a God's hand servant. Father, I thank you for what you did for us. encourage you all to uh, come out Friday night uh, for our candlelight Good Friday service. We'll be having communion together as well as joining together with our daughter's church, Hope Church, out of the North Van Oaks area here at River Park. Please come and join us and invite somebody for Egypt. I've been, listen, I've been setting the book of Exodus. And you will tell, you can tell. The other day I was telling somebody, I was talking about the, about Noah, and I said Moses' name every time. I had Moses on the ark. I had Moses making a sacrifice. Invite somebody out to Easter. This is, this is a time that people are willing to come, a time that people are thinking about what Jesus did. So use that opportunity uh, to invite someone to church this Easter. And they will hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. God bless you, everyone. Thank you for coming today. You're dismissed. Have a great week in Jesus.